So we know in life, every action produces some sort of reaction. Now, I want to go specific on this one right now and talk about the way you pick up a phone, the way you handle yourself on a phone call, the way you call another agent when you're in the middle of a deal. We hear about this all the time. One agent calls the other agent. They're extremely rude. The one agent doesn't, you know, seems like they don't want to be on the call. They wonder why somebody's bothering them. And all of a sudden, we've got this 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 bad energy going on between two agents. Why? Why? Because one thought that they were, you know, a top producer. They just won an award, so their, you know, their egos are bigger, or they post more on social media, they do more video, they got more followers, like, come on, what makes us feel that we are better than somebody else? You shouldn't walk around like that. You see, because when you play that card and you react like that and the way you pick up a phone like that, people can hear it, they can feel it. They feel that you think that you are better than they are, or they think they're better than you are, whatever the problem is, but think about that. The way somebody calls, the way somebody picks up a phone, sets the tone for the entire conversation, sets the tone for the entire experience. So I want you again to think about those phone calls. The way you answer a phone, the way you call another agent and have a conversation. If you don't know each other, specifically if you don't know each other, you've got to turn on that that politeness, that positivity, that collaborative um, energy between the two of you to try to make something happen. Hey, you're an agent working on one side of the deal. They're an agent working on the other side of the deal. To walk in there, and yes, you might be in there for the best interest of your clients, which you should be, but to walk in there like you're already at war, you're not at war. You're in a position right now where you're supposed to be collaborating to be to get a deal done. We're supposed to figure out with each other, how do we make this work? Maybe if we can't make it work, we at least say thank you for the opportunity. And maybe I'll see you next time. You see, we always got to be thinking long-term experiences. We've always got to be thinking repeat and referral business. Repeat and referral comes from all shapes and sizes. We don't know who and we don't know when. But the more we think about it, the more we're positive with people, the more we create that positive experience and really uh, you know, make people remember who we are in a, again, positive way. Well, let's just call that positive mind share and that's exactly the way you're supposed to be operating out there so again every action produces some sort of reaction think about the way you pick up the phone do a better job of being more polite with people whether you're making the call or answering the call and hey the person on the other end i bet you they'll be more polite too